Let's prepare test tube two from the equilibrium experiment. So I have here a holding tube labeled two that's going to be my final holding tube for the resulting mixture. And I've got the three test tubes containing the three solutions to be added to the holding tube. The first is the Fe3 plus tube. You can see it's a transparent solution there. This is two milliliters of a diluted solution that has a concentration of one times 10 to the minus four moles per liter. This is diluted relative to the stock. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this in first to tube number two. Next is the nitric acid solution or HNO3. This is the stock nitric acid that you'll use in lab and it is 0.1 moles per liter and this tube in particular contains three milliliters of the nitric. So when I add this in no real color change yet. It's still, for the most part, colorless. Maybe a little bit of pale yellow there, and that's it. And finally, I have the concentrated thiocyanate solution. So this is SCN minus, or thiocyanate, 0.5 moles per liter and 5 milliliters of that. So when I add this in, I observe a nice color change to light orange there. And the problem associated with this video is going to ask you to, to calculate the concentration of product in this test tube. Keep in mind that we use the concentrated thiocyanate solution while we used a much, much more dilute solution of iron-3 cations. So these two reactants involved in this test tube are present in very different concentrations, and that leads to an interesting situation from an equilibrium perspective and a simplification that allows us to calculate the product concentration fairly easily.